This February will mark the two-year anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. But many of the Ukrainians who have fled to this country are keeping a close eye on some other timelines. Lauren Maxwell is here to explain. Lauren. Well, there is a big deadline coming up at the end of this week. If Congress doesn't renew funding for the Uniting for Ukraine program, people who arrive after September 30th won't get benefits to help them resettle that earlier Ukrainians received. Then there's another big question for people who are already here, and that's how long they'll be allowed to stay. So it's me, my mom, and my sister, and it was like my mom's birthday before the war started. Sasha Druhak arrived in Alaska with her sister and mother in May of 2022, leaving some loved ones behind. Do you miss Daisy? Of course, we miss her a lot. Under the Uniting for Ukraine program, the family is allowed to stay for two years. A deadline, Sasha says, is coming up. Uh, I'm thinking about it like every single day because uh, especially for young people, it's so hard just because we can plan. Living in a constant sense of temporary is really hard for people. The state's refugee coordinator says hundreds of Ukrainians now living in Alaska are in the same boat. The war doesn't seem to be ending and that timeline is coming up and so there's a lot of concern around populations of am I going to have to go home, am I going to be able to stay, what will it look like if I get to stay, what immigration process will I have to use and we're waiting for those kind of, that kind of information, we don't have it yet. The uncertainty is troubling for many of the new arrivals, but also their employers. Ten Ukrainians work at Anchor Lutheran School, mostly as teacher's assistants. The school's director says they're valuable employees he wouldn't want to lose. Without them working here, we would have to cut services. Um, and I believe Anchorage is at about a 17% deficit on early childhood programs. Sasha Druhak also has a job with Catholic Social Services. She says not knowing what the future will bring is tough. It's so hard, but I am really happy to be here just because we are like, we are safe. Like many Ukrainians, she'd like to stay as long as she can. Now, for some Ukrainians in Alaska, that two-year deadline is coming up in March. The state's refugee coordinator says she doesn't think the Biden administration will force people to return to a war-torn country, but she says she hopes they get some news on what the policy will be relatively soon.